Welcome everyone to Future of Honor Friday here on Ring of Honor's YouTube channel. I'm your host, Joe Dabrowski. Thank you so much for joining us. A special installment this week as we emanate from the Ring of Honor Dojo in Bristol, Pennsylvania. It's Baron Black in one-on-one -on -one competition. His opponent, Josie Lee Quinn, we caught up with both earlier today with pre-match comments. Some of you, you know me. But some of you, you don't know me. But trust, you're gonna learn today. You're gonna learn exactly why I am the hottest free agent in all of professional wrestling. You're gonna learn exactly why I am the future of honor. <laughs> Don't get your bro wrong. I'm not saying I'm the best there is, the best there was, or the best there ever will be. All I am telling you is that you're gonna learn why I am. of the way Baron Black. As Ring of Honor looks to the future, they see me walking through the front door, Josie Lee Quinn. And you best believe I packed my A game up down in Atlanta, GA, and brought it here to the dojo. What I found waiting on me was the Emperor, Baron Black. We all, we all know the future is bright for ROH. And it holds two things. Josie Lee Quinn and a fallen empire. As the official signals for the Code of Honor, mm. Baron Black is hesitant to acquiesce. You've heard the determination, the focus in both men's voices as they prepare for an all important opportunity to test each other on a grand stage here on Future of Honor Friday. We officially have the bell and a very aggressive tie-up to start things out. You want to talk about dedication. You want to talk about uh, applying your trade, doing the drives. Both men coming from the state of Georgia all the way up here to Bristol, Pennsylvania. Drop toe hold there early by Josie Lee Quinn as he traps Baron Black. These men are looking for an opportunity. And, of course, most of our Future of Honor matches you've seen over the weeks, they emanate from our live arena events throughout the country, our television tapings. There is a very loud, a very demanding, a, uh, a, a very large crowd in front of many of the Future of Honor competitors. Here we're in a dojo environment. Here they're wrestling basically in front of their peers. Other young athletes looking for an opportunity, looking for a chance, looking for their big break. And potentially that could be even more frustrating, even more high pressure of a situation, knowing that they're being watched and scrutinized at all times as Baron Black with a takedown. Black coming in with no shortage of confidence, six feet tall, 220 pounds. And Quinn attempts to go up and over. Black able to adjust midstream. The paddle counter roll was countered. Great back and forth wrestling here in the early going. And great elevation on the hip lock from Josie Lee Quinn. Arm drag takedown as Quinn looks to ground black. Quinn by far the least experienced in this matchup, but he was voted the 2017 Georgia Wrestling History Rookie of the Year. Certainly something that Quinn looks at as a big honor and something he's going to look at to catapult himself in a 2018 and beyond to hopefully see a lot more success. Black may have had a hand on the hair that time. A knife edge shot caught Quinn high around the throat area. That may have only served to re-energize Josie Lee Quinn. He fires back with a shot of his own. Tell you what, so much wrestling history in this building. So many men have plied their trade here, men and women who have gone on to incredible national and international success. Only the beginning, only the, the start of the journey for many of these athletes who will go on to do so many great things. This could be just a, just a very, very eventful chapter one for one or both of these athletes, not to mention the men and women around ringside, many of which we'll see in future weeks on Future of Honor. As Quinn went high risk with a springboard, Black was waiting with a knee. Baron Black, about an eight-year pro, was resourceful there. Quinn advertised that springboard a bit too much. Black begins to take over. Black mentored and trained as he goes for the cover. Notice the forearm on the chin that time. 
It's leverage, it's insult, it's confidence, it's a mind game, it's a lot of different things, and Black is doing the little things very well here in this particular installment. Aaron Black calls himself the Empra of the ring. I'm not saying that incorrectly. Originally trained and mentored by Mr. Hughes down in the Atlanta, Georgia area. Nice atomic drop, nicely done. Neckbreaker combo. Barron into the cover, hooks the leg. Near fall there. Quinn barely able to get out in time. Barron originally uh, mentored by Mr. Hughes, and Mr. Hughes uh, has quite the pedigree, quite the resume to his training uh, background, as Jonathan Gresham is also somebody who studied under Mr. Hughes, and Gresham's doing big things right now as part of Search and Destroy throughout the country with Ring of Honor. And now it's Baron Black maybe looking to follow in those footsteps, elevated, half Boston crowd. You can see the torque, but you can see Quinn using that guts, that resolve, to crawl his way to the rope to necessitate the break. Baron Black refers to himself sometimes as a divine beast. All the regalia of the royalty he feels he is in professional wrestling combined with that intensity that he brings into battle each and every time to back himself up. Quinn hits hard into the buckle and Baron looks to follow through. Caught a quick roll up here. And you notice Quinn driving with the legs could nearly put him away. But Black comes back with a clothesline and we've seen some great spurts of offense from Quinn. But Baron Black has had the answer. Another battle press this time for two. And you can see that experience advantage that maybe Baron is a little more composed and pacing his offense a little bit better. Quinn's been on a bit of a roller coaster this matchup. Uh, and you got to believe the high pressure situation that he is under at this point with, uh, with trainers, with veterans, with peers looking on is unlike much of anything he's seen before. And Quinn maybe out on his feet at this point. The close line, the exploder suplex. Baron gets another near fall. Quinn has, uh, has uh, done a great job of staying alive here, of surviving. You can see the look in the eyes, a bit of desperation on Josie Lynn Quinn. Meanwhile, Baron Black has done a great job of stringing his offense together, creating these combos, and staying poised under pressure no matter what his opposition may be doing. Two different stories here, two different journeys, but right now it's Baron Black I have to give the advantage to as he measures his opposition. Oh, but check out Josie Lee Quinn, he was waiting. Don't count Josie Lee Quinn out. Trained and mentored by the likes of QT Marshall and none other than Glacier, who recently made his ROH debut at center stage in Atlanta on television. And Josie Lee Quinn, certainly wanting to make them proud, firing back with the right forearms. Baron could sense that momentum shift, shuts things down. That may have knocked the, the air out of Quinn. Elevation attempt, and Quinn back with a clothesline. Quinn rolling with the momentum here, and unloading with clothesline after clothesline. He predicted the fallen empire of Baron Black in this matchup. Could he fulfill that prophecy here? And many fellow Dojo Camp attendees are cheering on as Josie Lee Quinn with an attempt at bicycle kick. He connected as Baron went to charge in and counter. Quinn had an answer. Running, modified shooting star has it. No. And Quinn has gone from perhaps desperation to, su to, to survive to desperation to thrive here. He can feel this within grasp now, within reach. Could Josie Lynn Quinn, Josie Lee Quinn, excuse me, take the hardship of this matchup, turn it into a positive, show that resolve and resiliency that may impress everybody. Oh, the Emperor with a counter at least attempts to. Quinn lands on his feet. The go behind can Black reverse. Yes, standing side switch. Baron's gonna run out of ring in a second. And look. Oh, oh! Quinn elevated over the top rope. Great ability to catch himself on the way down. The young man, knowing where he is at all times, knew that ring position. He was in danger. Adjusted fast. Got the springboard that time. Overhead neckbreaker. 
Second time's the charm. Will it be a victory? No! And many fellow dojo competitors felt in their own right. That was it. And Baron Black had been defeated by Josie Lee Quinn. Josie Lee Quinn thought that was it. Imagine just the feeling of, of realizing the biggest win of your career and then having it taken from you just a split second before it comes. Black attempts to turn things around. How quickening, Quinn. You can't defend if you don't know where your opposition's coming from. That snap German suplex connected beautifully. And a Northern Lights bomb. Good grief. Barrett Black has it all. And that was the longest two count yet. A long, long near fall as Josie Lee Quinn perhaps digs down and finds something even he wasn't aware that he had. Well, the straps are coming down on Heron and no matter uh, what era of wrestling or what legend you want to equate that to, you know, Perrin means business now more so than ever, and he can sense the end as he measures Quinn, but Quinn fires back shot for shot. Physicality of these strikes tells the story. Quinn caught that time. A leg lace takedown. Baron got the takedown and went for a submission attempt, but Quinn, the cradle, and nearly surprised Baron, nearly caught him off guard. Bicycle kick connects once more. Oh, but went for that, that running shooting star once too many. Baron had seen it earlier. He had it scouted this time around. And now, a modified variation of what looks to be a, a Texas Cloverleaf. He's very low to the ground is Baron. All that torque on the lower back and wrenching the knee. Quinn is reaching for a rope desperately. And oh, Baron sat back too far and Quinn could not get out. That was a tightly, tightly cinched in submission. All the credit in the world for Quinn, but the eight year pro Baron Black proves he's the emperor here tonight. And thank you so much for watching. Baron Black's victory over Josie Lee Quinn, just the beginning of our dojo matches here on Future of Honor Friday, Ring of Honor's YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.